Hey guys, Serpent X here. Uh, as you see, I want to talk more about Awesome Miner and how you can do some precision mining. Uh, there's a lot of capabilities inside Awesome Miner uh, besides the, you know, quick start, b set up, manage, uh, profit miner, benchmark, and then head start. That's pretty much it. Besides setting up your pools, unless you use the profit switching. Uh, but even if you use profit switching, there's a tool that I like to use that I would recommend you use as well. Uh, before we get into that though, there is, uh, of course, uh, we all know about Oh God, a company, or most of us should know about Oh God, a company who came out with the uh, Ethereum largement pill or ETH largement pill. Basically, it just boosts up your uh, mining hash rate for uh, specific graphics cards that are using GDDR5X, like the 1080, 1080 Ti, and the Titan XP, not the Titan V because they use HBM2. Uh, but the cards that I mentioned that's also at the top of this program here um, you'll be able to boost the overall hash rate slash shares uh, which has been tested by myself and many others like JMS blogs um, to you know improve overall performance and profitability now of course the 1080 Ti gets an average of 34 mega hashes 35 uh, but when you use this particular program and all you gotta do is leave it running which a lot of people do they just leave it running and they still use profit switching and whenever it does mine an ethereum or eth hash algorithm it's already running it's already getting you to the maximum amount of hashes as you can uh, get but i like to have it only available or only open when i'm mining that particular algorithm so what i did here is i went into profit profiles you select the profile that you use primarily you can choose edit and then choose multiple algorithms so like see I'm gonna choose kryptonite and then I'm gonna hold shift and left click all the way down to kryptonite v7 when I select that at the bottom here there's an option for execute batch commands and you can check that and you can actually configure it and you can configure it to execute um, before you start mining uh, at the right like right before like when the miner stops like right before it stops it will execute a command um, and then there's another one where you can do it after the mining has stopped um, I personally got it configured right now to do it for Ethereum I'm gonna show you here so you can put this program uh, the ETH largement pill which whichever folder you want you just gotta know the path so uh, usually if you find it on your computer and file, you know file explorer or whatever you're using um, you can come up here to the top you can see that it's in my C drive and then it's got its own folder and then all you need to do is add the program dot exe at the end um, that's exactly what I did so I chose execute additional commands before starting the mining software and you can choose start and then C colon uh, well where the, the the folder is and then the program dot exe but at the end you might want to add exit because otherwise you're going to have two command windows so one for the ETH largement pill and then one for executing the command so add the word exit at the end start to begin it exit to end it uh, also if you have the correct user permissions if you want to auto close this uh, particular program to boost your Ethereum mining because say you switch from Ethereum now to Equihash you can also choose execute additional commands either before stopping or after it doesn't really matter uh, and do start task kill and then the name of the program now again I've seen an issue on, on a different system to where it won't automatically close I've experienced it on this system as well because I don't have the correct permission so maybe I'm not the administrative profile yada 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 and sometimes even if you are the administrative profile it gives you issues so just just be wary of that but there is a way to execute these commands before you start and then after you start mining and of course you can just go to Google look up your command line parameters or commands uh, like you know echo which would show a text output of, of what exactly it's doing and making sure that what what you have on is working you could also do echo off um, you know start command uh, task kill command uh, pause if you want to pause and make that window stay and so you can make sure that all the commands ran correctly and then you just hit any key on the keyboard to make it go away but you can use this to precision tune your profit switching which I like uh, and this is beneficial in a number of ways so yes you can use uh, these execute commands for a particular algorithm which is going to be necessary not only for Ethereum but for other things too and it's not just this program like say 
you wanted to have uh, uh, a particular program open up that may help you out in mining a different algorithm. You can use execute batch commands uh, to help you out with that. Uh, another thing that I did here is because with Equihash uh, forking, uh, we got many forks going on right now. So we got Equihash 192 algo, which is primarily used for zero coin. Um, and there's uh, certain parameters that need to be put in there. Now, Awesome Miner automatically applies these and downloads the the miners. Um, so there's the new e EWBF uh, Zcash miner. There's the Equihash miner, and you got to get the right version. It will show you most miners or most pools will have this information in there. Um, if not, check their uh, Reddit, GitHub, and they'll have uh, information in there. So we need EWBF Equihash miner version 0.3. And then uh, it already, also might have already configured the algo, so we got that. But we need to make sure this parameter is in there. So check this out. I'm gonna copy this parameter. I'm gonna go down into this uh, same thing. So we're in the profit pro uh, profiles properties. I'm gonna select the specific algorithm. So like Equihash zero uh, 192.7, and I can choose execute or I can just add it here additional command line arguments and I can add that there so that way I can make sure that I'm not having any issues because I've been having issues mining uh, that particular algorithm and Equihash 144 or even Equihash because there's a lot of forking going on right now um, you know you need to make sure your miners are updated also miner would normally do this but usually what they do is they might update the miners a day or two after uh, the fork is completed or what have you so uh, if you're really on top of your your mining game and you don't want your miner to go down for X amount of time you would keep up with this information uh, maybe follow them on Twitter and what have you so this is another one so we're gonna go look for Equihash 144 which is right here it even has BTG because that's what Bitcoin go fork to and we're gonna add that parameter there too so now I can make sure absolutely sure that everything is precision tuned this is why I call it precision mining um, because you can get boost out of it. So Ethereum, we're boosting the hash rate from a normal 34 on my 1080 Ti to about 48, 49. Um, and we're having a program being executed immediately before we're mining Ethereum. And then when it's done and it switches to uh, Ravencoin, Equihash, or whatever it may be, um, it will auto close that program and only use it when necessary because it doesn't benefit you to have it open for any other algorithm. Um, Besides that, you can you know make sure that certain command parameters are in there. Another beneficial thing that a lot of people uh, like to do, but I don't recommend because I choose to support the people that create these miners and the people that uh, manage these pools. Um, this one doesn't impact the people that manage the pools, but it does impact the miners. So a lot of people like to take out the donate option, which will basically mean that this miner you're not donating uh, a percentage of you know whatever you mine to the pool or what have you uh, EWBF does have that I think uh, Claymore uh, dual miner has that a couple of them do so what you can actually do is select the miner and the same way um, I was talking about whether it's an algorithm I, yeah so you gotta choose an algorithm you can also set it and I'll show you a different way you can add it to additional uh, additional command line arguments just like I showed you before so if I choose Equihash and my default, which you can choose a default miner. If you didn't want to pull from your, your normal setup on the left-hand menu here, you can choose a specific miner to mine that specific algorithm. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do that right now. So for zero, we need to make sure that we're using EWBF CUDA Equihash miner, not Zcash miner. I think either one would work, but uh, I haven't tested that out yet. And then same thing for the BTG 144.5. So I'm gonna choose that. So I chose a specific miner. I got specific command line arguments in there and if I wanted to eliminate the donate pool I can also do dash dash donate zero and, and you want to double check I, I could be wrong it might be zero percent or just zero uh, but you can normally find this on the github section of these miners so if you look up uh, Equihash um, you know EWBF Equihash miner EWBF uh, Zcash miner um, you know whatever Claymore miner usually it's in the github and you can find it or you can just type in command line um, 
command line options for Claymore or command line options for Equihash and you can find it. But you can turn off that donate option as well so you're not donating back to the developers. But I don't recommend it because these developers are taking time out of their lives to update the miners so that way we can continue to mine. So go ahead and show them some support if possible. Uh, the other way that you can set up uh, certain arguments, uh, I want to say, let me make sure here is yes so you can and this is online services so you can choose your uh, specific pools like Z pool, mining pool hub, Zerg pool uh, you can choose a specific algorithm or all of them right uh, by shift clicking and when you do bulk edit excuse me you can't do it you gotta do it by specific you can't select more than one I'm sorry so I chose a specific algorithm and I can hit edit and then right here at the bottom I can add additional command line parameters so I can do the donate I can make sure that it always mines uh, using uh, a specific command uh, parameter for like zero coin or zero or for Bitcoin gold so you can configure in online services profit profiles and you can even configure it in the uh, pools themselves I want to say but let me check something here real quick custom custom user defined command line argument yep okay so there's multiple areas to where you can com uh, configure it now don't get lost because one time I configured it in more than one place I thought I turned it off but it just kept messing up my mining operation so if you configure it in one of these options which, whether it's under managed software profit profiles online services you don't want to forget about it but you can also configure it in the pools themselves under advanced command line parameters add a uh, pool specific command line parameters so you can do the, the dash dash donate you can do whatever the pool or uh, yeah the pool is recommending that you do when you when you mine that particular algorithm all that kind of good stuff um, this will help you precision tune your mining operation and make sure that you're getting the the most out of you know mining basically so I wanted to show a couple of these key features of awesome miner with you especially with the Equihash fork I've been having issues I've been currently working with Zerg pool and awesome miner through Twitter and, and other communication trying to figure out what's happening because I've experienced issues where I would mine uh, and then it would just cut off in the middle of the night or what have you coming from work it's not mining anymore and my miners are configured to where if something goes wrong it automatically restarts and it continues mining or if something goes wrong it leaves that pool it ignores that pool and switches to a pool that is working so here's my awesome miner log uh, which you can find in awesome miner itself under uh, tools log file over here it opens up a folder you can open it up read through it and see what exactly is going on to start from where the last time the miner was working and then work your way down from there uh, you can find me on Twitter at CMV Jax. Uh, I also put my name in there, Serpent X, uh, so you guys know who I am. Um, but besides that, I just wanted to share this bit of information for you. So hopefully, it will it'll help you out in uh, getting the best uh, profits for your miner. Um, like I said, you, you don't have to just use it for Ogata Company's ETH Largement pill. You can use it for other programs, parameters. You can run batch files. So you can really fine tune. Uh, your mining operation. So if it mines a specific algo or uses a specific program, it would always use those command parameters. Uh, as always, like, share, subscribe, and comment below, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.